Hello there strong peeps and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today was a really exciting day for me as I am busy doing my deload week and today would normally be a rest day. I decided to do a classic shoulder and arms hypertrophy pump style workout. Something that I haven't done in 15 weeks this week. So I started off with doing my tier one overhead press deload. Since it is my shoulders that were bothering me, I decided to do some proper warm ups of the bar and then move to around 60% of my of the weight that I used the previous week. So that equated to approximately 40 kilograms. I did do a good amount of sets over here. And then the last set, I decided to do about five repetitions instead of AMRAP, which I would have been able to get a lot more, but because I'm actually trying to get my body to rest and recover, decided to stick to a lower rep range like five. Overall, I say my body does feel pretty good. I really do feel recovered, I'm not having done heavy squats and bench. So I think this was a well needed rest for me and something that I might have to program into the future. But that's okay, we prevent injuries and keep on moving up. This was the heaviest weight that I used on the overhead press, which is 45 kilograms. I tried to use as little momentum as possible, try to keep it strict, just so that I can still at least benefit from the movement, strength-wise. And then on to a arm day. Barbell curls have always been one of my favorites. Especially the, the thick, long barbell. Didn't really have much of a plan here going in. I generally just try to stick to heavier weights for biceps and just bang out some reps and get close to failure. This wasn't a very heavy weight for me, but considering I haven't done arms in 15 weeks, I thought this is an appropriate weight for me to just get a couple of pump sets in. Always try to at least control the bar, especially on the last rep when I feel I am in close to failure. At least try to get the negative movement in. Considering I haven't done any extremity work in a while, my arms felt actually pretty good and I wouldn't say I've really lost much size. If anything, I might have gained some size in my triceps from all the overhead pressing and the bench press, of course. Onto some tricep work. I like my press downs, especially with a straight bar. I feel like I can move as much weight and keep as much control over it as possible. Like with most of my exercises, I don't really want to struggle with it. I try to move as much weight as possible. I must say my triceps fatigue quite quickly during these sets. I haven't really had strong or big triceps and um, taking a big break from it, I can feel I am fatiguing a bit faster. But it was nice to get the blood flowing back into them. Like biceps, I didn't really have much of a plan. Yeah, I just kind of went with the flow. Chose two or three exercises that I enjoy. 
at a couple of sets with a couple of reps close to failure as once again this is a deload week i didn't want to overtax myself And on to some preacher curls. This is my favorite bicep exercise, I would say. The one that I generally rely on the most. I drop the bench so that it's a vertical position, not at an angle, so I can get as much of a stretch as possible. For this uh, early sets, I like to get a full range of motion. I don't know, I feel I get a good contraction and a good stretch, but I somewhat pre-fatigue my muscles for the, the next couple of sets. Went up to a 16 kilogram dumbbell over here. same plan as the barbell I try to get as many full range sets as I can and then on the last repetition when I feel I'm failing I like to control the weight in the negative pretty much something you should be doing on all of your lifts especially when you're focusing on hypertrophy my uh, pump started sitting in pretty quickly here I feel my arms are getting quite swollen I suppose it's a combination of not having done hypertrophy training in a while and I did hydrate and eat quite well before my workout anticipating that uh, I might feel a bit more fatigued not having done this type of training in quite a while and this is my final set I went up to an 18 kilogram dumbbell somewhat heavy not near my max but enough to tax me for a low rep, rep range over here I try to do more of a what would you call it uh, for the last set I tried to work a little bit more in the stretch position so I wasn't using as big a range of motion and I was controlling the negative a lot more That last top half has always been the hardest and then as you can see I really tried to control the weight on the way down. Bench ended up slipping over there, kind of put me off but continue. As you can see I'm placing quite a lot of emphasis on the stretch of my muscle. This is why I feel I do grow the most of my arms. And the bench ended up slipping again. For the next half of the preacher call, I went with the easy bar and decided to just work on the lower half of the stretch position. It's not nearly as hard as hitting the top half of the contraction. So you're able to push a couple more reps out and get as much blood pumped into them as possible. Though I can feel by this time I was pretty fatigued and my biceps were struggling. Even though this was much lighter than I would normally go. But now my arms were really quite swollen. I must say I... I felt pretty confident over here. I do miss the, the hypertrophy pump type exercises. So I was enjoying myself in this workout. It was a lot of fun.
last set for biceps. Once again, I stuck to the stretched elongated type position. Just try to get the bottom half as many reps as possible. Fill the muscle with blood. And then the last repetition, try and control it as much as possible. And over to my last tricep exercise. This might not be scientifically the most effective tricep exercise, but for me personally, I do feel I get a, a good stretch on the lower half of the movement. When I mean that, I mean when the bar comes back over my head and when the, I do get a deep stretch, I feel that my arms do respond a bit better. Typically, I would do something like a close bench or a tricep dip or chest dip type exercise but because I am trying to rest my shoulders a bit and I've been bench pressing a lot for my powerlifting movements I decided to just change it up so overhead rope extensions it was. So yeah, a really good day for me. Um, I do miss it and I might um, incorporate a, a arm pump day somewhere in the week, possibly a Wednesday, when I have rest from my powerlifting movements. I won't go as heavy or hard as to try and hinder my movements or my tier one movements, but it is something I really do enjoy, so I might just stick to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for some more pump work.